I created the same animation in every AI video generator to find out which tool is actually the best. So I took the exact same prompts and ran it through five popular AI video models, Sora 2, Kling 2.6, VO 3.1, WAN 2.6, and LTX 2. To do all of that, I use OpenArt because it allows me to test and compare every model in one place without switching platforms or paying for multiple subscriptions. I'll leave a link to this exact platform in the description down below so you can check out each and every model that I used in this video. Now for this comparison, we're going to be using two images and we'll be testing them from easy to hard. For each test, I'll be using the exact same image and the exact same prompt across every model, so the comparison stays fair. All of the prompts will be shown on screen as we go. First up is our easy test. For this one, we're using this image of the knight holding a torch. The goal here is to see how well each model handles basic character motion, camera movement, and natural physics like fire and sparks without breaking the character or the scene. For the prompt, I just want the camera to push in on the knight as he lowers his visor, holds the torch steady, and takes a controlled step forward with fire and sparks moving naturally. It's a pretty simple scene, but it still tests a lot, like how the camera moves, how the knight's body and hands animate, how the fire and sparks behave, and whether the whole scene stays consistent. This will give us a good sense of how each model handles the basics before we try something more complex. After that, for the hard test, we're going to want the character to glance at a rival outside, then the camera pushes into his eye, transitions to a frontal driving shot as he speeds off. This test is designed to push the AI models to their limits. It's not just about animation, but also about timing, perspective, and realism. Any inconsistency becomes very noticeable here, which makes it perfect for comparing which tool handles high-level complexity the best. Once we go through these two tests, I'll be breaking down all five models in a tier list at the end, and we'll see which AI handles the basics, which shines in complex scenes, and ultimately, which one I'd recommend if you want the best results without spending extra time or credits. So make sure you stick around for that. But before we jump into the results, let me show you how I actually generated these videos. For each model, I use the exact same prompt and image, running everything inside OpenArt to keep the comparison fair. Here's how it works. On OpenArt's homepage, I click Video and select Kling 2.6 as the first model. Then I drag in the image for the first test and paste in the same motion prompt that I'll use for all models. Then I press Create and the model will generate the clip. All right, now that you know how I generated everything, let's jump into the first model and see how it did. The hand movement looks natural, the sparks from the torch flame behave realistically, and even the eyes staring from inside the helmet feel really cinematic. Overall, it delivers everything we asked for in the prompt smooth motion, natural physics, and correct camera movement. Moving on, let's see how LTX2 did. Right away, you can see a few issues. The helmet looks off and the camera movement is wrong. Instead of zooming in, it actually moves backwards. However, the character did walk forward, but the torch in his hand disappears, which really breaks the scene. Let's see how Juan 2.6 did for this test. The character movement is smooth and the camera and actions follow the prompt correctly. However, the sparks from the torch aren't as realistic as what we saw in Kling, but it is still a really good result. Next, we will look at VO 3.1. The helmet have some weird morphing, and the camera suddenly shifts down to his chest, which wasn't in the prompt. Despite that, he does walk forward correctly, so the basic motion is there. To be honest, it wasn't quite up to my expectations, but let's see how Sora 2 does it. With Sora 2, the helmet looks a bit off, there's no camera movement, and the action is missing. The one thing it gets right is the sparks from the fire, which look pretty good. Overall, in this example, my favorite was Kling 2.6, with Juan 2.6 coming close, then Veo 3.1, Sora 2, and finally LTX2. Okay, let's move on to our hard test. This one involves character actions, multiple precise camera angles, and realistic driving motions. For this generation, we expect to see the camera smoothly slide toward the driver's face as he glances at a rival, then camera transitions to his eye, then another transition to a frontal driving shot as he speeds off. The motion should be smooth and cinematic with natural timing and perspective. We'll start with Kling 2.6.
Once again, Klings nails it. The character stays consistent throughout, actions follow the prompt perfectly, and the camera transitions are smooth. Honestly, I don't think any other model will top this. Let's check out LTX2 next. Hey. Unfortunately, this model struggles here. The character looks in the wrong direction, there's no camera zooming into his eye, and the driving shot ends with the wrong perspective. Let's see if Juan 2.6 is any better. Juan gets the action right, with good camera movement and clean transitions. The only issue it has is character consistency. It randomly adds realistic pores that weren't mentioned in the prompt. However, it is still a strong result. Next up, Veo 3.1. This one has major issues with character consistency, turning the character realistic. The camera zoom never happens, and the transition turns into a strange hard cut of a Porsche without the character even in the driver's seat. I'm pretty disappointed with this model. Finally, let's finish this hard test with Sora 2. Try to keep up, kid. <laughs> Here, the character doesn't turn his head at all, but the transition into the eye is actually pretty cool. However, the frontal driving perspective completely breaks the illusion as it looks like the car is reversing really fast instead of moving forward. So honestly, for this hard test, it really comes down to Kling and Juan 2.6. Kling is clearly in the lead and Juan is close behind. With a few different generations or some prompt tweaking, Juan could probably close that gap. Sora 2 sits in the middle for me. There are some interesting ideas there, but the execution just isn't consistent enough. As for Veo 3.1 and LTX2, I'm pretty disappointed. The results aren't even close, and for this kind of cinematic prompt, they just don't hold up. So if you're looking for the best results without wasting time or burning through extra credits, Kling 2.6 is the clear winner. It handles both simple and complex cinematic prompts the most consistently. If you want to test these models yourself, I've linked OpenArt in the description below so you can try the exact model I used and compare everything in one place. And if you guys want to learn how to create an entire AI animated cartoon videos in four simple steps, click the video on screen right now.